I am a former high energy physicist who now does workflow architecture for the printing industry with Heidelberg. And I'm also the technical officer for SIP4, the organization that does JDF and um, XJDF and Print Talk and other standards for the graphic arts. Well, actually, my presentation was more on XJDF, which is the baby brother of JDF, which was just uh, released about three months ago. But the language of JDF or, or the technology behind JDF is that it's XML. And then I was giving uh, more information about uh, what the, let's say, the drawbacks of JDF are and how these are being addressed by the new standard XJDF, which doesn't mean that JDF will disappear, but it's just, after 20 years of working on a standard, obviously you find flaws, and at some point you just have to say, okay, let's fix them. And that, that's what this uh, talk was about. I don't think that there's a single offset press in the world that's bought without at least the ink zone presetting using SIP3, because that's such a no-brainer in terms of time and money that you save that even if you are in a third world country with very low wages, it makes sense. Mm. But uh, if you're talking about full automation and sending back um, machine data, that still is very much an add-on, unfortunately. Mm. That, that's correct, but because I think many printers, or at least the smaller printers, they're essentially living off, off what they have they're not really investing anymore and they probably will also not survive. But I think the larger the industrial printers that are, well, fortunately, unfortunately, however you see it, that are taking over the market, they most definitely are very keen on squeezing out the last 5%, 3% out of their machines. And for that, they definitely need all the automation capabilities and the, all the information they get out of the machines that they can get. I think the, the automation part, uh, or the value of the machines is not the output at full speed. That's becoming less and less relevant for the simple reasons that the run links are going down. So the change over time is important. It doesn't really matter if you're only printing 500 copies, whether you're going at 18,000, 15,000 or 12,000, but it does matter a lot whether it takes 15 minutes to change plates or five. Well, first of all, I think you have to analyze your own workflow and where are your shortcomings. So where, where are the breaks, the, the pauses, the, the times where something does not work smoothly? And then you have to check whether that can be fixed by automation. And if it can, you probably should. For that, of course, uh, you probably should not do it yourself. You should probably get a consultant and that knows what he has done that before because otherwise you're going to make a lot of the mistakes that he's done at a different customer prior to you. And uh, ideally some, well, Heidelberg had on, of course, a Heidelberg consultant, but ideally an independent <laughs> consultant that will um, give you, well, in, unbiased information and knowledge what, what can be done and what he has seen at other companies that works and what doesn't work. Well, of course, now I have my Heidelberg hat on. Uh, our Prunect system is exactly what does this automation for you. So you have an out-of-the-box single system that you can use and uh, you don't need to develop your own thing. That's, of course, mainly geared toward the small to medium-sized printers. If you are a massively large industrial printer, you probably already have built that all on your own. And uh, what you then want is our devices to seamlessly integrate with your system. Used to be, yes, that is a criticism that we have to accept, but we are opening it more and more. And it's always been open to the MIS systems from the front. That's never been a problem for the simple reason that uh, MISs are extremely regional and therefore you just have to basically go to bed with everybody. On the outside uh, or the output side, uh, it used to be that we are, were one shop for all, but for instance, we no longer do uh, saddle stitches, right? So in order for a complete workshop to exist or to be there, we, we have to connect to third party. 
And I think, I believe personally that that's a very good thing because it forces us to open up in that direction and then become a real operating system for print and not just for Heidelberg. The problem is of course chicken and egg. <laughs> we would gladly sell a complete workflow with every machine that we do, but the customers are not requesting it. You know? So without that, then we, if only the larger printers buy it or the large to mid-size, mid then we can't become a larger player. Well, we were talking a little bit about uh, XJDF and um, in my presentation I talked also about Industry 4.0 because Industry 4.0 is now the big buzzword and I think in, 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 in interviews like this you have to put a few buzzwords in. Break them off. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's exactly what XJDF will enable with time is that um, you will be able to have communicating devices that um, make intelligent decisions about the workflow. We're definitely not there yet. This is going to take another five to 10 years, obviously, because the printing industry is slow, but it's definitely a, a direction that we are looking into both at Heidelberg and at SIP4, and that will become very important in the future. <laughs>